Hello everyone, and welcome to a surprising treat of a brand new game called Neva. And it's following a theme that I think is absolutely fantastic to see more often in games lately, and that is peaceful exploration. So just like Meadow, Neva offers up a beautiful world for us to be able to explore with no other purpose than being able to spend time in a place of peace and being able to see what the discoveries in this world are and what they mean for us on more personal levels. So perhaps not everyone's cup of tea, but with all of the stress that goes on in daily life, I think it's really wonderful to step away from that sense of constant competition and our jobs and at school and even inside of the games that we love and to just settle into a place of beauty and exploration and discovery and personal quiet and peace. And so I'm very excited to step into Neva. Like I said, it's a surprising little game. It just popped up on my Twitter feed and what's even more surprising is this is a totally free game you guys so if you look in the video description then you'll be able to find the link to where you can go and download this game to enjoy yourselves as well it is just a beautiful artistic offering of peace for whoever wants to step into this world and take a few moments out of their stressful life so I hope your life is hopefully not as stressful as I just made it out to potentially to be and we're gonna come in and we're going to see what we can find together. So without further ado, let's go ahead and step on into the role of being this beautiful forest god down here and find a harmony and balance in the conflicts that are going on in the forest by being able to apparently add uh, negative or positive auras. So I have no idea what that means, but that's the whole premise of what we're going to be doing. And let's do it. Oh my goodness, <gasps> just like that, you guys. Wow, look at us. Oh, you know what this reminds me of 100% Spirited Away. I feel like the dear God and Spirited Away. So apparently what we need to do, <gasps> wow, we run so beautifully. You wanna walk in and you want to wither or nurture different trees, different, different places where there's conflict and aura inside of the forest. So. Wow, look at that. So when I wither the things, look at how it makes my, makes like these little horns appear over my head. And if I nurture them, then more of them will show up. All right, so that lets me pass off into the next area. And then I can nurture them if I wish to. Oh, and it brings up a different color. Oh, that's so lovely. Wow, okay, so let's keep moving. Those are the antlers. Now, what is this? <gasps> if I keep nurturing it, look at it, it grows and grows and grows. And if I wither it, then the leaves go down. <laughs> that is so wonderful. Wow, okay, so let's move around a little bit and let's just see what we can find. This is very, very beautiful. And then I can come on up. <laughs> I can make them bear fruit! Oh my goodness, look at that! Oh. My. Gosh. By making there be fruit, I have just brought food for these little ones here in the forest to be able to eat. What are they? They're the most precious little, like, owl creatures ever. Oh, this is amazing. Listen, you can hear their cooing. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. All right, eat up little ones. Hopefully I didn't like imbalance the world here because you have to remember anything that you feed. Oh my gosh, anything that you feed and provide room for there to be more of. What if they don't need to have that many of them? Oh, and their little pheasant tails, that's amazing. And this is so sensitive. I, I am going to very gently Try to do what I can not to move the camera too much because it is a very, very sensitive camera. There we go. Oh, look, and there's more, more to wither. And if I come through, oh, and if I just hold it down, I can just sort of, oh, I can clear all of these away. Should I do that? Is that the right option here? Oh, this is amazing. Oh, you have to leave one or two of them behind. This is so interesting. So if I want to just clear enough of a path that I can come through. There we go. All right. 
This is so beautiful. <gasps> Look at all these butterflies. And then you can jump to get through. Are you all alright? Look, some of them are caught in this cobweb. So do I just... Oh, there we go. Oh, that's beautiful. And jumping through it seems to have cleared the cobweb. So as the forest god, our job is to look for different conflict in the forest and be able to solve the conflicts. Should we add more life or take away some life? So this route is traveling. And if I shrink it by removing its aura, that's <gasps> mushrooms. Oh, wow. There's so many mushrooms over here. This is so beautiful. But I can shrink the aura or I can help it to grow. What happens if I... <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, look at it! The root is just growing in circles. This is so fascinating. Now, if I remove all of that, it pulls back. Do I want this to stay or to go? But you can't remove it completely, which is probably a good thing. I wouldn't want to cause too much damage and imbalance. But we can follow it. Do, do, can I follow it? Can I command it on where to go? <gasps> it's following us! Oh my gosh! <gasps> oh, this is beautiful! Oh wow! <gasps> Did you see the flower? Did you see the flower from when it followed us far enough? You guys, look! It became a little tiny flower on the very end! Oh, that's beautiful! <laughs> I love that idea. I love that idea of of just like nurturing something enough. All oh, this and the mushrooms growing up the side of the cliff here. Too bad I can't add aura to them. Oh my gosh, I can. Look at the way the ground is just blooming under my feet. Oh, this is going to bring tears to my eyes, you guys. This is so beautiful. This is just so beautiful. And it comes back to reminding me how wonderful it is. Oh, there's a little frog guy! <laughs> now what does he want in life, I wonder? He came over here, and he's just napping! <gasps> he's napping on the back of another creature! Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Can I wake these guys up? Hello, everyone! Now, where does- is this just going to follow us again? Look at this. Oh, I think we hit some more areas where there's some conflict. Alright, I grew that as far out as I could. It looks like there's a lot of creatures over here. Is it you? Do I need to grow you, or...? Oh, that- Oh my! <gasps> no, that did something bad, I think. Well, I don't know if bad could be the right- Thing, but it made the frogs freak out. Oh my goodness. Where have we wandered into? Look at these creatures. They're so fascinating. It seems like the the moths are causing some issues here. Can I clean the area up somehow? Or is it less about cleaning it up and more about bringing balance? Oh, we need to find out what's going on. Is it these guys? Should I bring this flower with us? These vines with us? Can I cut them through the cobwebs, maybe? Alright. I tried to grow that little flower. That little vine. Oh, look! Yes! Look! And as they spread, I think they bring a whole bunch of this life into the area. Let's see if we can get more of them. There's another one up here. Can I convince it to come on down? I wonder if I need to convince them to grow in certain directions? Oh, maybe! <gasps> like that! Yes! So that's what we need to do. Alright. And then I need to grow them so that they can go to each of those spots. I've got it! How beautiful! And just sort of manipulating the environment like that in subtle little ways. So let's see if I can bring it over here. Hang in there, little ones. And up here. Yes. And we've done it. All right, so we've removed a couple of them. And there's more scattered around. And I don't know about these things hanging out in these trees. So let's see if we can clean the forest up a little bit. 
by going down using my abilities. Yeah, look at how it hurts all of them. So this would be that conflict that we're in charge of sorting out. Seeing where the balance of it all is just thrown to pieces and needs a little bit of help. All right, there's that one. Come with me, come with me, Vine. And there's this one. All right, I think that's going to help. Oh, look at them. This is so amazing. I need to find more spots where we have those. Aha, there's one of the puff things. All right, so come here. So we'll have the vine retreat, and then we'll encourage it to come this direction. Oh, this is so fascinating. Have we done it? Oh, there's the spot to jump through. Oh, they all, they all are scattering. So these moths, apparently it's overgrowth of these moths that is causing such a big issue. Hmm. I'm sure they have their place. Ah, oh, and that brings up a whole nother thought process of what deserves, what deserves to be, um, what deserves to have a place and what deserves or what should be allowed to be maintained? When should the balance be allowed to fall apart? But those are deeper questions that we can ask ourselves another day on what it means to hold balance in the world. Sometimes if we kept everything in permanent balance, there would never be any change. So sometimes you just have to accept change. But let's see if I can turn and jump through this. But I don't know if I have the answer just yet. I don't know if I've lived long enough or deeply enough and rich enough to have the answer on when the balance should be allowed to shift forever. And when one species should step aside and another step forward. That's something I'll have to think about later. But for now, have we made this area better for all of the creatures that were here? Except the moths, maybe? Hello, little ones. <laughs> Do you guys wake up? Let's see if I can let's see if I can tease them with the vine in a playful manner a little bit. Come on, wake up. Wake up. Did he wake up? No, but he's sleeping in the little pile I made for him. That's so adorable. You guys, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. And I have a feeling just like Meadow, I will start thinking about some of the deeper things in life. Even if it's just pure joy and beauty, savoring beauty and just appreciating its discoveries, its small little discoveries. That's what weaves together a really good life. Is the small daily rewards. Not just the big things, not just the big quest. But oh and look there's little flowers over here. Will you all grow? Oh they're little fern things. And look you can see flowers behind me following my footstep. Oh, that's so beautiful. And oh, I can make I can make leaves fall. <gasps> I can bring it so that it becomes fall as well. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and having the vines chase me. Oh, that's beautiful. The yeah, the question of when when one group should rise and when one group should fall, how things change forever. Those are things I'll probably think about quite a bit more. Look, you can even see where I've gone <laughs> with the leaves behind me. That's so amazing. Oh, it's so beautiful. And I have a feeling it's it's a question I'll come to. <gasps> a little fairy ring. Yes. Oh, and there's a, there's a place to go from here. What better spot to find? Then a place where the mushrooms fall down thickly. Oh, and there's beautiful flower bushes over here. Can I make those grow? Oh, that's so lovely. And a fairy ring of a different, different mushrooms. So we'll have to come through and we'll have to see what's waiting for us on the other side over here next time. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. This game is completely free. So if it is something that you would like to see and something you would like to explore and, and something you would like to let yourself step out of the rush of your busy day and just find peace in or maybe find a safe place where you can think about some of the deeper questions that you might want to face in your own life, then it's right there for you. It is available. I will put a link in the video description and then we can come back and we will find more discoveries next time. So I'll see all of you then. Bye-bye.